Hey everybody, Joe Stovenall here. Uh, it's been a while since my last YouTube video on playing jazz on the horn. Uh, so what I do, thought I'd do today is uh, talk about uh, records and recordings with uh, jazz horn on them. And obviously I can't show it take an hour to, to go through all of them that I have. But I'm going to hit the highlights with you today and uh, give you an idea of what to go out and look for in your record stores and used record shops and iTunes and all those places. So. The grandfather of all jazz horn players is none other than Julius Watkins. And uh, Julius was a powerhouse of the uh, jazz horn. I mean, he really uh, paved, paved the, uh, the groundwork for uh, everything that we're doing today for all the greats like John Clark and Tom Varner and um, Alex Brofsky and these guys. Um, Julius was a New York cat. He played a uh, mirrorphone uh, French horn. And uh, I've seen other pictures. Uh, I think I saw a picture once with him with a, a 6D, another one with an Alexander, uh, possibly. Um, so, uh, but Julius was a monster. He did a lot of sessions. Uh, he did uh, pretty much played for all types of things. He was a guy with a tremendous range on the horn. He had a tremendous high range. And he had a big sound up in that high range, which uh, a lot of people don't have. Um, so, and there's, fortunately for us, there's quite a few recordings where you can hear Julius play, and uh, the most popular, and, and I think some of the best recordings, are two that he did with uh, Thelonious Monk. And the uh, first one is this one here. Uh, it's just called Monk and Frank Foster. And if you can see that there. And uh, these are all released on, I have these on LP, uh, the, all of these are, have been released on uh, CD as well, so uh, go out and get them. You can, uh, you can get them uh, probably even in iTunes. Uh, this one is with uh, Frank Foster, it's Prestige number 7053, Prestige Records, uh, and it has Sonny Rollins on here too. And I mean, it is just fantastic. It's uh, November of uh, 53 and May of 1954 they recorded it and uh, has some great, fantastic uh, solos on here from Julius. Another one is the other uh, companion record to that, to that one, which is this one here. Sonny Rollins and Thelonious Monk. This is the companion session to that. And uh, this was also 1953 and 54. Um, again, fantastic playing, um, and it's got uh, <laughs> Well, it's got Julius, and uh, it's just fantastic playing. I, don't, I really can't say too much more about it. So get these, the two Thelonious Monk records, all right, with Frank Foster and Sonny Rollins. Get them. Uh, another one that uh, is hard to find. I've seen it on eBay now and again. I've had mine for probably, I don't know, 25 years, and that is this one. As Julius Watkins' his own uh, record out on his own uh, name, and it's called French Horns for My Lady. And uh, it's got a great cover on it. <laughs> Con 8D. And uh, uh, a nice pretty lady. Um, it's a fantastic recording. You really get a good sense of Julius. You know, it's uh, got strings and things on it. But, uh, you know, you, you can really still hear Julius's tone and uh, what he was all about. Again, French Horns for My Lady. That, that's a good one to get. Like I said, you can find this one on eBay. Uh, probably even Amazon. We also have, I'm going to keep stepping out frame to get my records here, we have uh, some CD releases which are fantastic. Here's a Blue Note uh, release, if you can see that. Uh, and this is the Julius Watkins sex Sextet. These were originally 10-inch uh, 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 recordings. Uh, they were on, uh, recorded on two different volumes of, uh, of records. and. Uh, Man, these are, again, great. It's got Hank Mobley, Art Blakey, Oscar Pettiford, Duke Jordan playing. Fantastic playing. And it has a lot of uh, uh, Julius's original songs on here as well. So this one is a must-get as well. All right, Julius Watkins Sextet. It's on Blue Note Records. And this is a CD. You can get this on, uh, I'm sure you can get it on iTunes, and uh, definitely you can get it on CD. I, I found it out, I think, at Borders Books and Music one day. The other one that uh, is uh, still available, uh, it's a little bit harder to find, but it's well worth it. It's called Les Jazz Modes. And this was a group that Julius put together uh, with Charlie Rouse. And Charlie Rouse um, 
this is like six degrees of separation. Charlie Rouse played with uh, Thelonious Monk for many, many years, and he was uh, Thelonious's uh, right hand man. And uh, the, the jazz modes, uh, this is a two uh, CD set, it's called the Rare Dawn Sessions. And uh, Paul Chambers and uh, Chano Pozo and Art Taylor, Paul West, I mean, fantastic uh, uh, album. And there's more than 20 songs on here, so it's over an hour and a half of music of great French horn playing. Okay. And the other one, uh, this one uh, I think you can still get as well, another CD. It's called Four French Horns. <laughs> what a great album. Uh, um, great album cover, too. Now this one is really cool because it has Julius, it has David Amram, it's got uh, Fred Klein and Tony Miranda all playing French horns with a rhythm section on here. And uh, it's from 1957. Um, again, great songs. Uh, there's a really good one, one of my favorite uh, French horns jazz songs, Lobo Nocho by David Amram. And that's on here. Really good solo. Um, and uh, Blues for Milt's a really good one. Um, Come Rain or Come Shine has uh, really nice harmonies on here. Lots of good four French horn harmonies on this, so get this one. Uh, this is, uh, I don't even know what the record company is on this one. New Sounds and Jazz, uh, Nippon Columbia Company. So uh, that's a good one. Then there's a few more that you can get. Um, this one I've seen released on CD as well as uh, I've found the albums on eBay. I've had, again, had it for probably 25 years. And that's this one. It's called Benny Bailey Big Brass. There you see that. And this was a European session uh, that Julius played on. And man, I'll tell you what, there's some really good solos on there. And this was an album that nobody really knew about. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the players on here Benny Bailey and Phil Woods, Julius, Les Spann, Tommy Flanagan, <laughs> Buddy Collette, and Art Taylor playing. I mean, it doesn't get any better jazz than that. Um, I don't know what the date is on this one, but uh, but it's on Candid Records and uh, it's number eight zero one one. That is a top notch album to get. I've like I said, I've seen that on eBay as well. Uh, I think uh, you can probably even get it on CD on Amazon or someplace like that. Another one is a release a re-release. Uh, Milt Jackson. It's called Bluesology. Let's see if I can get you there. There he goes. And uh, it's a green album. You can probably get this on CD as well. Uh, this is another one. Uh, has Julius taking solos on. And you can see Julius was quite the side man. So he uh, really uh, got around. And this has a lot of good, uh, good Julius Watkins solos. Another one is uh, for Julius is Oscar Pettiford. Yes, the man. <laughs> Oscar was fan. always had a great band that he put together. Uh, this, I think, might be on CD as well. Uh, Oscar Pettiford, and it's called the new Oscar Pettiford se Sextet. It's on debut records. Um, more, uh, this even even has Charlie Mingus playing uh, bass, and Oscar Pettiford's playing cello on this. Oh, you ought to hear the, uh, the, the harmonies between the cello and the French horn. They're spooky on this. Really sound fantastic. Again, more Julius taking solos. And uh, one of my favorites is this one. It's by Phil Woods. And uh, I've seen it under different covers, uh, different colors and uh, different styles of covers. But it's called The Right of Swing. And it's got a, a small band on it. Um, probably about a 10-piece band, I think, is on here. And uh, um, Phil Woods, Benny Bailey again, Curtis Fuller playing, uh, Julius, Tommy Flanagan, Buddy Collette. You know, great Buddy Catlett, sorry. Uh, really great uh, album. And this one has, uh, it's like suites, they're real long uh, extended uh, uh, suites that they're playing. And the one of these is a bluesy tune, and Julius lets loose and plays a fantastic, phenomenal solo on. Uh, so that's well worth getting. Phil Woods, Right of Swing. Okay, so you know what? I think we're going to be running out of time here on uh, as far as YouTube goes. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to keep this first uh, session. Uh, we'll keep it for Julius Watkins and uh, I'll continue on. I'll do a couple more and uh, show you uh, some other uh, uh, jazz horn players and some great records that you can get. All right, so be looking for the next one. Thanks. See you.